morning, it's Friday. And it's time to drop him off at Escuela. And then I'm going home and going to bed. Not really. Friday morning, time to upload some video, and it's my day off, so I want to go home <clears throat> and do some work around the house so we don't have to do much tomorrow, and we can have Saturday as a family just to chillax, but it's Friday, and Barry's normally more excited than that about it being Friday. I've been kind of torn for the last month, I guess, uh, been making YouTube videos and trying to get an audience and I am uh, I'm always concerned that anyone would think I'm doing something for Kenny uh, the, the whole purpose behind this YouTube channel it, it really serves two purposes I guess one uh, it just gives my family something that we can do together as a family uh, because family is very important to me Right behind God is my number one. There goes Cameron. Hey, Cameron. Um, so it's something that we can do as a family, and I'm just having fun with it. Uh, one of my students asked me, is it because when I get Alzheimer's, then I can go back and watch it? And maybe that is, I don't know. Uh, but another reason is because the, the content that, that I want to put out um, is strictly to help people be better. Uh, to, to help people and, and the, you know what what I do in my life might not be beneficial to others uh, it might seem silly to others but you know I just I feel like I've got a message that people need to hear and it's not because of Kenny it's because of my, my Savior and uh, why would anyone want to click on a YouTube video and watch a 40 plus year old guy, I'm 45, watch a 45 year old guy that lives one of the most non-active lives. I mean, I, I watch the YouTube stuff and there are folks going all over the world, there are folks, you know, doing awesome stuff, and I'm just here in the, in the south, in the country, just living life, but I think there's a market for people that just are not going to be the, the world travelers, that aren't going to be all over the and I just I really feel like there's a market for that and in saying a market for that that sounds very commercial you know this this isn't about trying to get rich this is about just trying to help people now if for some reason I could monetize my videos which I'm looking into that and trying to figure out if that's something I want to do it pops ads up and I know everybody's like oh, I hate seeing the ads but they're on just about all the videos you watch and you can skip them you know if you watch them the whole way through it helps monetize your channel that you're watching so you know what's you know five seconds out of your day but I understand because there are times that I'll be watching a video and something will pop up and I'll say, oh, I wish I could skip this ad because I just want to watch the video but um, I don't know just got trying to get a little deeper into this Facebook or not Facebook YouTube thing and uh, it's not my full-time job you know I, I I'm a full-time youth pastor and you might hear on the radio as I'm driving with the beast that's what I call my Jeep but as I'm riding down the road you might hear a song and you go I can't believe he's a Christian if he's listening to that kind of music um, okay I'm out so all right but I want this channel to be more than just hey check out Kenny I want this channel to be something that when you get finished watching the video you're able to take something that we say in the video and apply it to your life I want to get my family more involved uh, my wife and I uh, very fortunate we, we've had the opportunity to go several places and speak on dating and relationships and I feel like uh, she and I be able to maybe do questions and answers and help some people out <laughs> she's really smart and she's she's my pretty girl um, 
gosh, I love her so much. So I'm hoping to do more of that in the future. So that's my little spill on YouTube. I don't know. I don't even know if anybody watches this stuff, but I hope that something that's said will help them out. So now I'm going home and it's my day off, but I got some, some stuff I'm going to do around the hizzle. So tomorrow the family can just chill and tonight's family fun night. So I always look forward to that. <laughs> oh yeah, Slade. Y'all don't know nothing about this. You young folks, y'all missed out. I just found this in our local store. In a commercial business, that is huge. Very, very cool. Struck out on what I was looking for, but it was good to see that. There's no better feeling than when you pull up to pick your kid up at school and they look are looking for you and then they smile um, when you make eye contact. I would have never in a million years thought that I would have cared anything about being a father. This is... Wow. Hello. What's up, dog? Oh, did you bring me some food? Yeah. No. No. How are you? Good. What have you done today? We were just talking about that. What have you done today? All kinds of stuff. That's a very broad statement. Hey Ziva, on the porch you look like you're in prison. She's just sitting so still. Look how still she is. Like a horse. So still is creepy. My kids at my room smell like Fruit Loops today. She's just looking. Oh, she has moved. I'm gonna check out the scene. What's up? Out the crime scene. What's up with the what's up? Holy Ziva! It is family fun night and we are ready. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am. Oh, there comes Leia. We better go. Time to go eat. And then we're going to Belk. And I'm going to look at crazy socks. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to start wearing weird socks. No. Uh, I rubbed off on you. Dad, yeah, you're off giving off over to the dark side. But you are too, son. Yeah. You just wear old socks. Yeah, you just wear the same socks for three days straight. I did that. I don't, you know... It, Having a 10 year old, I didn't think I would have to smell his feet before we go to school. I didn't think I'd have to look and make sure he doesn't have crusties coming out of his nose. <coughs> but I guess you do. We're going to have to take care of you when you get older. That is true. You check your nose and your feet. But y'all aren't older. No, and, when you get and older. And you, uh, it's just, yeah, there's too what? much to try to check on her. Not. You can get through that afro, man, you can find all kind of stuff in there. I, I found a globe trotter. <laughs> In her hair, it was awesome. That's where I keep my pens and pencils. You got a sandwich? Hang on, let me. I got some crackers. All right, so let's go have some homie zoo. You got a lot of sushi just laid.
What did you think about dinner? It was good. It was good. It was good. Jessica did not like it. Oh, I did. It was good. No, she didn't. Yeah, no, I, I liked it. It was very she, good. She stuttered got, when she said that. She said, I, I, I like I'm it. I'm cold. It's, it's exactly. Chilly. We've got a good bit left in here, so we got lunch tomorrow. Breakfast. Good. Now it's time to go shopping. My dad found himself some Easter clothes he's going to wear to church on Easter Sunday. Here they are. I think it's pretty good. I think so. Take it away. The past five years, our son's been in training. He is officially a ninja. <laughs> Remember how energy? I am king of the world. King of the world! Do a flip off of it, parkour. Whoa. Come on off. We have had dinner. We have gone shopping and got me some wacky socks. We've got the boy a book, and now we're coming to our favorite market to get some vittles for tomorrow because you don't know this. Aunt Wendy and Uncle Mitch are coming to dinner tomorrow night. Really? Yeah, they are. Yes. So, pretty excited oh, about that. Oh, I'm so happy. He's going to the grass. He's, he's a little wacky. We don't let him out much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so family fun night has it been a good one it has it has what's been the best part ten? Uh, the fire the fire okay yeah okay i got you now and the onion volcano the onion vo onion <laughs> <laughs> spit it out <laughs> what was the best part of you jessica other than just <laughs> slapping me <laughs> Um, watching y'all <laughs> try to ring the buggy with paper towels. What do you mean try to ring the buggy? We did. Not on the first shot. Shh. Well, you did, but we didn't record We did, it, but it didn't record the first shot, so we tried it again, and Barrett missed. Because Jessica was standing at the end filming going, Kenny, there's Walmart people right here. Not Walmart. Walmart people right here. Let's see if we can make any money. So, now it's time to go... Starbucks. Starbucks. I figured that's what it was. We don't have a Starbucks where we live. I do not eat fresh yogurt. Except for our I don't care. <laughs> Look, there's the boy's soccer ball. It's a good looking soccer ball. But it was a good night. We, uh, Friday night, man. We go eat, go look around, pretend to shop, and then go to our favorite little marketplace. And then usually a Starbucks. You gotta hate when the battery dies in the middle of vlogging. But anyway, uh, good Friday night. We've had a good time. I got some wacky socks, and now it's time to uh, just get ready for tomorrow. Looking forward to tomorrow. And uh, hope you've had a good day. Hope you've had a wonderful week. And I hope that you would love God, love people, and be better.